doing with three pieces of metal? I know, that's what you're thinking. Uh, short answer is I may have lost my mind. Long answer is roughly the same, but with a few expletives that we're not going to say for this channel. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Cypress Steel Forge. Listen, we're doing more fun stuff today. And uh, yeah, really, really, really busy around the shop today. So, uh, three pieces of metal, three knives in one day. Now, they won't get all the way done, but I, I well, I've already got them rough forging out. I'm actually doing the intro after the rough forging. It's uh, after lunch now, and I'm about to get started on the grinding. But, uh, yeah, so we're in talks with a local business. I'm not going to say the name because I don't want to get in any sort of legal trouble as yet, but we are in talks with a local business about a a, a partnership where they would uh, stock my knives in their shop and you know th this could be really great for the shop so what I'm doing today it's uh, making knives for the shop and then you know if they're impressed with them then uh, we, we can go forward you know and, and ink a deal that would really be awesome but uh, if not hey you know it, life works out that way too and these ones go on the Etsy shop people can have them and if they if they don't sell they go on my wall that's fine too oh <laughs> uh, so uh yeah so we're making three different knives like i said i got three different uh, pieces of metal these are knives that are not currently available on the shop uh, mainly because what i want to do with it with this uh deal if it works out is to not end up competing with myself I don't want to have to sell the, the knives that I already sell on Etsy over here for more or, or you know, and end up damaging the deal. So what I'm going to do is do a lot of one-off knives. So to that end, what we have today, what I've already made and I'll y'all be seeing soon, was one, the first one was a, a Bowie. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a fat-tipped uh, Bolo Bowie uh, hybrid that actually has a uh, integral guard, so that's going to be really cool. We've got the first competition chopper I've ever made, so this should be really fun. And we've got a Chris shaped blade. Now that, that's like the hawk bill, but with a really wide end, and it, it, that's a fighting blade. And, and believe me, for centuries that thing's been opening people up. So these are going to be really fun. And I said. Uh, you know, if this deal don't work out, then they'll just go in the shop and, and you'll be able to order them there. If it does work out, then you'll be able to order them through him and that'll be cool too. So, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're going to get back to work and, uh, you know, hopefully the same works out.
Hey guys, uh, all right, so we got it, got them forged, all three knives. <clears throat> uh, I missed some stuff, but it it's a lot. There was a, obviously a ton of grinding that went on with three knives, and uh, so I've already got the handles on there. They've been heat treated, and I've done the glue up. So now we're going to do the handle shaping and sharpening. You see, we, uh, we went with a competition chopper. Uh, with a uh, crepe myrtle handle, that's going to be, when that's right, that, that's going to be good. That, that's going to be nice. Um, <clears throat> for a bowie knife, I went with a stacked handle. And uh, you, you can't really, well, maybe you can tell a little bit, but I, I cut everything at a slant. And I'm hoping that when this polishes down, that really shows and it kind of got interesting lines in it. But, you know, we'll see. And the final one was the Chris knife, and uh, this one I, I really like, and because it's not a chopper, it's not intended to be banged on anything, it's a, you know, slice of knife, I went with a cedar. Now, I stabilized it somewhat with epoxy, but it's not a really strong cedar, but it is a marbled cedar, and when it polishes, it is beautiful. So, I think it's going to come out really nice. So let's get these uh, handles shaped and uh, get these knives sharp and ready for spun. <laughs>
Well, that's going to about do it for us, guys. Uh, I know. I didn't sharpen them. Uh, I've got somebody coming in Friday. They're going to be trying to, uh, you know, become an apprentice. So we're going to work together on sharpening these that day. And uh, since I like to get the videos out on Thursday, that's just not going to happen. But I wanted to get the handles on them because that was really the most important thing. I wanted y'all to see this, Chris, with, it, with the handle. So what I've done is I've just rubbed a little bit of linseed oil on that. And, and I, I just dare any of y'all to tell me that isn't beautiful. That That is gorgeous. Now what I'll do is I'll give it a second, maybe even third coat of linseed oil. And then I use a paste wax. And I'll rub that in real good. And that'll polish it up. And then, as I said, Friday, uh, I mean, possibly new apprentice will sharpen these up. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, while I'm talking to y'all and finishing up this video, we'll just... Uh, Give these uh, a nice rub down with linseed oil and see how they come out. I, w I was really happy with the overall process. Uh, it's pushing a little bit harder than I generally care to. Uh, I My preference is always to do custom knives for individuals. And this time, it, you know, we're working at possibly stocking a shelf. So it's more knives at one time than I'm used to doing. But... You know, it's it's worked. It's this competition chopper, that crepe myrtle with the burn. That that looks gorgeous. When that gets sharpened up, that's going to look really nice. So uh, the last one here, <laughs> I'm kind of calling it a duck head bowie, just because the the handle just kind of life of its own, man. It took kind of a duck head. And, uh, so let's see how it looks. Uh, we polished it we run it all the way through the thousand grit and it's got some of that resin in there so once I get the dust off there and a little bit of linseed oil that resin should really pop and uh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah that, that's gorgeous yeah, yeah look at that that's that is beautiful and, and it came out in them uh, kind of diagonal stripes that I was shooting for. So, and it really worked out. So, you know, we, we learned new things. We had some fun. Like I said, these are uh, one-off sorts of things that uh, it's possibly going to be offered in a uh, store here where I'm at. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to say right now, but uh, anyways, uh, if that don't work out, then these will just go in the shop as is, and uh, you know, it, regardless, I'll let y'all know what happens, that way, you know, you, you can get to these knives no matter what, because uh, if they go into that shop, they'll be on, on his website, and you'll be able to order them through there, so uh, anyways, I appreciate y'all watching, I, I really do appreciate all of y'all that it's it's really been amazing I, you know it's not like leaps and bounds i ain't mr beast yet but the fact that anybody pays any attention to what i'm up to out here in the middle of nowhere is really awesome i appreciate y'all thank y'all so much for that and we'll see you next time